One of the biggest challenges facing government is the deluge of paper, videotape, and other legacy formats. For agencies in the information business, such as the Library of Congress, the National Archives, and many others, the dual challenges of dealing with the legacy formats and how to face a digital future have been overwhelming. And in many cases, the agencies have turned to what they call public-private partnerships, so-called no-cost-to-the-government deals, that have proven to be especially troublesome. An example of such a no-cost-to-the-government deal was one cut by the Government Accountability Office, an arm of Congress, which has a definitive library of federal legislative history, folders for each public law that contains all the hearings, bills, and reports that led up to each statute. GAO entered into a deal with Thompson West where the government shipped off all those federal legislative histories to the vendor, which scanned them and sent the paper back. Not that different from the FedFlix program, but with an important twist. Thompson West didn't send the GAO back digital copies of their data. Instead, Thompson West gave GAO a couple of logins for their staff to use the digitized material. But for everybody else, including government folks, including congressmen, everybody else has to pay to access the U.S. federal legislative histories. The deal really wasn't no cost to the government since it took a huge amount of effort to pack those 60 million pages of paper up and send them to the vendor. The vendor got a sweetheart deal, an exclusive lock on a vitally important government database. The government got snookered. 